Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Krishika Gupta and today I have bought an interesting video on the topic the solar system. This is part 2. The part 1 is the universe and its link is given in the description box. Do check it out. Now, let's start with our topic. The solar system. Among the thousands of stars that make up the Milky Way, the Sun is a medium-sized star located on the edge of the galaxy. This unique star and the planets that revolve around it make up what we call the solar system. It comprises of eight planets, their moons and a band of rocky remains that forms what is known as the asteroid belt. This asteroid belt contains asteroids and it is located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Now there is also a word, Milky Way. This is our galaxy's name and for more information do check my previous video. It's all there. Solar System Evolution The formation of the solar system is believed to have begun billions and billions of years ago. Before the solar system came into existence, scientists believe that there was a giant cloud of dust and gas. This massive cloud was believed to have been disturbed probably by the explosion of a nearby star. This caused the dust and the gas to collapse due to, due to the pull of gravity. As it did so, it began spinning in a giant circle. It grew hotter and denser at the center. So at the back, you can see the image. It is rotating and uh, this is because of gravity. And at the center, there is a something very hot, very dense. Now let's see what will happen. At the center of this rotating cloud, a small star came to be formed. This star grew bigger and bigger creating more dust and more gas. This star became the sun. So this is our sun. Further away, smaller clumps of dust and gas left over from the sun's formation were also collapsing. The dust, the scientists believe, evolved from dead stars. So the dust that came from the stars that are not any more uh, lighting or not any more alive, you can say. These clumps soon formed into eight planets orbiting the hotter and denser star, the Sun. These planets were thus named Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These names came from the gods of Roman and Greek mythology. While there are only eight planets orbiting the sun, the solar system has other worlds. There are dwarf planets, moons, comets, and asteroids, just as fascinating. Some of these dwarf planets and moons have lakes, rivers, oceans, and even volcanoes. Some are even larger than Jupiter, the biggest planet on our solar system. So Jupiter is the biggest in all the planets, and some of these things are even bigger than Jupiter. Just as the planets were formed, so as the dwarf planets, moons, comets, and asteroids formed. These together with the sun and the eight planets form the solar system. What is a planet? A planet is a large space object that orbits or revolves around a star also reflecting that star's light. The solar system is made up of several small systems known as planetary systems. Every one of these systems is made up of a planet and one or more moons revolving around it. Out of all the planets that orbit the sun in our solar system, planets Mercury and Venus are the only two that do not have moons. Rest of the planets are having their own moons. Now I'm going to share some fun facts with you. Do you know, the sun is more than 4 billion years old. Do you know how many zeros are there in billion? 
let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine nine zeros are there so the sun is more than that the solar system has over 100 worlds including the moons asteroids comets dwarf planets our own eight planets the sun the solar system has over 100 worlds i hope you understood the topic and like the video subscribe my channel for more such videos and don't forget to press the thumbs up icon thanks for watching